Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Col Galatians <clears throat> 6 9. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for the for in due season you will reap if you do not give up. So yeah, just keep going when you're in customer service and you work the front desk of a bank. Yeah. Remembering to keep it in the right mindset. That's the hard part. Just say, move this down just a little bit there. All right, so a lot, a whole lot of nothing going on today. So, um, I say that that's not true, but not it doesn't seem like much if I break it down, but showing you does help. So, um, I'm still working on <clears throat> this. Okay, I finished that shawl and I showed y'all last week um i have started to make this wavy and then when it gets down to my knee or better um haven't decided what brown then i'm going to start with the uh, collar so that it looks like a big circle and then it'll fold back so yeah it's getting there it's pretty close i just haven't decided where yet and, and the other night I had it on and I was like, hmm, maybe I should start the round for the collar. And so I was like, I don't know. So it's getting there and it's getting long enough. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, the collar will come across the bottom. It, it, I'm going to do it in a circle. So uh, it will probably add some length. The question is how much? Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. And I don't know if I want to add arms or not. I may have enough yarn. If I do, well, I may add it. <laughs> but anyway, so there's that. Let me get this out of the way. So that is what I've been working on in the evenings. Now this weekend I worked on several things. Uh, I went, first I ordered something. Let's get this out of the way because it's big and heavy. Alright, so I've been following this blog and I cannot think of this lady's name, Nicole, I think. And she, let me see if I can bring up the email thing. Um, she does amazing work, first off. Let's just start right there. Oops. Um, and it's for the first time that I've ever made sure I bought something off of an affiliate. Um, there it is. Okay. So. Where's the others? Okay. So it's Nicole Nig. And she, huh, of course, I may not be able to find it on my phone. Should have had this pulled up before. Uh, um, Of course, I put in her name and I can't find it. She, um, I'll have to find it and put it in the link below. She has a blog and it's how her husband had an accident which led her to furniture making. Okay. Um, and it's a transition that happened during the time of Pinterest height, you know, when they were doing it. And anyway, so Nicole has, does some very beautiful work. One thing about it is Nicole works to make practical furniture. Um, and I have found a few pieces that I probably will make off of her website. Um, but what I have worried about is when like framing the floor, Okay, we're talking a 20 foot span. And the one thing that I've seen in 
every video or online that says, you know, which I know how to frame a floor. But what I've been trying to figure out is how I'm supposed to do that alone. Every video has two uh, people holding it. One at one end, one at the other. Even the 10 foot putting in the, the hangers. So I found something. Okay, I found one thing that led to another thing, which led to another thing. So I actually bought all of this on her affiliate link. So yeah, I did that. So the first thing that I bought off of her affiliate link was I had, I actually emailed her and I said, Hey, you know, for doing two by fours and stuff, how can I use this? And she pointed me in the direction of the long or large or XL, whatever, uh, jig. So what these are is these are pocket hole uh, jigs. Now, I don't need them to do the floor. Just so you know. Um, the floor will have hangers. And these I won't need to do the floor. So I have this jig. Okay, I haven't opened it. Um, I just took the plastic off of it. And this is for working with 2 by 4 So when I make the closet and the uh, coat tree rack thing and the bed and uh, it, it, so the kitchen cabinets, all of that. So when I make the two by fours, I can do the pocket holes and hide my uh, screws in there, okay? And then I thought while I was at it, you know, if shipping and handling is what it is, I could get the smaller one and now on this, it did not look like it, it, it showed this picture right here. It didn't show that it came with a case, but apparently it came with a case and it's even got some screws and all kinds of stuff that I don't know what is. Um, yeah, a little Allen wrench thing with different depths and so yeah, there's that. It's got the drill bit. It's got uh, a long screw, and it's got some screws, and it's got this little thing here that you clip on, and then you can use something else that I got. So then, while I was nosing around, I had emailed her and wanted to know about the big one, and uh, so she... Um, while she was emailing, I thought, okay, well, if I'm working with two by fours, I'm out of room. If I'm working with two by fours, you know, they show these clamps and these are zip tied together. I have not cut them apart yet, but these clamps are made just for that. They open up. And then this will sit in that little round thing that I showed you. And that little round thing will work with the big one too. So yeah, this will hold it in place and then I can use it to um, hold my other stuff too. These clamps are not just specific to the thing. So a lot of the clamping will be done there. That little uh, thing that I showed you, the little black and blue, it goes right here and then it clamps down to your wood and your pocket hole jig and then you just zip zip and the screw screws in. Now, while I was looking at that, um, I found something that is going to help me do the, uh, hold the other end while I put the one end up and then go down and these are corner board holders so this is going to go on the outside and this is going to go to the inside it's going to make an l and it's going to hold 
the standing up board along the other board. Yeah, so I found these while I was looking for the others. And as you can see, this is the frame. And so it'll go in here and the header or bot, whatever you call it, the outside edge will go in here and the other one will go here. And then you just put it in there and it will actually, and then you clamp down. And when you clamp down, it will hold the two boards like so. So, I got these. Um, and they're zip tied together too. I haven't taken them apart. Matter of fact, they're still in this big old box. And they're very heavy. I will say that. So, I have these things right here. And they are going to help me with the tiny house. Okay. So, these are tools that I've decided that I need. And that I'm going to use for the tiny house. Speaking of the tiny house, um, I have an update. Uh, I found a really cool burrow out there, um, or den or something. I'll have to show you. So yeah, here's the update on the farm or the tiny house. All right. Once again, I apologize for the wind. Of course, it doesn't want to play nice. So I got quite a bit of that down. Got this little tree cleared out and pruned up some. Pruned a little bit more on this tree. Um, gonna get it. And I know that you guys are saying, that's gonna kill those trees, but let me show you something. I pruned a little bit more on this tree because it has some things. But let me take you right under here. Do you see, this is where I've pruned and now I have new growth. So I don't think I'm killing, and this is off of a dead branch, by the way. So that one connects to this that I trimmed all this dead dry off of. So yeah, there, there's a lot of it. Um, I still have a little bit of pruning to do on this one. This um, I'm trying to take back some of the dead. This is just too big and I couldn't get it with the loppers and uh, let's face it, I gave out. So I got this one trimmed, that one trimmed. This one, I'm working on it. I don't like how low the branches are, but once I get back to this area, I seem to poop out. So, um, I do have a lot of this down, just not cleared. Um, once again, I will be leaving it like this. Now, I won't be back out here next week because uh, RJ's fiance has her bridal shower. So, it literally is going to look like this. And then, I forgot to purchase a leaf rake, which I was going to do. But, uh, yeah... I will get that and next time I come out I'll have the leaf rake. Now there is one thing that I want to show you that I just thought was really cool and I've just been kind of working around it and I'm going to have to pull it up before long. But so I found the old bench and for some reason I was like man this is really high dirt right here. What is this? So something and I haven't cut around here but there is a den under there. I'm thinking maybe rabbit, but it's awfully deep. I don't know. Um, so next time I come out, which won't be next week, it'll be the following weekend, I'm going to get this bench. It was falling over in the rain, and it pretty much has rubbed away. It's, it was old when we got it secondhand, and it just really has gone by the wayside, um, even with waterproofing. So, but uh, yeah, all this down in there is uh, I don't know, some kind of den. But I have knocked down a, a bunch of this. All of that. So pretty much I just need the leaf rake to get it. You know, Because this right here looks like it's still standing. It is not. It is cut down. These three right here. So there they all are. Yeah. All of this. Cut down. So it's just hard to tell, and I need a little leaf rake to take care of it. But all of this is also down. Well, that one's still right there. Might not be. I don't know. So, you just, once I take the leaf rake to it, it will be um, easier to tell. So, I see with the wind blowing, everything just keeps falling off my pile. That's okay. It's okay. I got this. Um, so, yeah. 
it is starting to look a whole lot better, clearing a whole lot out. My fence is down over there, and I think it's because that's where the dogs go through. So I will be uh, finding the woven wire and seeing if it's worth salvaging, and then I will tack it back up. I know down there it seemed to be, but right here it's like null and void empty. So we will see. Uh, but I still have this quarter to go, and then I literally just have to rake and push back until I find the fence. So, there's the update. Okay, so while I went out there this weekend, I had to pick up a few things from the house because I needed the cupcake holder because next weekend is the bridal shower, which we'll get into that here in a minute. But while I was there, I also picked up my interior design. This was a gift, okay? So this gift, it, it's silly. It's one that had a lot of thought and heart in it, and I love it. So, um, yeah. So this, first it came with a book, and it has everything that uh, I plan on doing, okay? From the decor, uh, to, it's just what I had had worked on, and I had rendered some drawings of, and floor plans of what I want each room to, and I had worked on this, I got it for Christmas, and I had worked, and now I'm going to take this, I had forgotten about this, but it was out there, so I took it. I'm going to take this and transfer all my lists into here and make sure that I have it. So, in this, I have, I even have accent colors that I am going to use. Okay? So, I am going to use the muted tones. And I was just thinking about doing it and I thought, man, what about that green? So, this is my design and pattern book. Um, so this is uh, graph paper, which I actually have everything drawn out in. Um, so yeah, it different steps, different parts, different um, things. So this is my book for that and then I have a me fiber th and far I'm not sure what I meant for th but it's like a journal um, let's see here this is my 50 notebook in it I will be clearly I will be charting three personal things progress blah 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 so um, my tiny house grows, my fiber adventure, and me and my weight loss. So, I did this. Now, this is, I started this probably before I left the farm. Um, probably two years before I left the farm. Um, and I didn't get very far. February 2019. Um. Things weren't going real good then. So, yeah. Uh, it is what it is. And like I said, this kit was a gift. And so, I started it and then whatever, you know. But, as I tell people, I needed to take care of me. That's just the case of it, okay? So, it's got rulers, scissors, post-its, pen and pencils glue, um, erasers, it's got other little scissors, but what it does have too. Alright, so part of the really cool part <laughs> that I like is, so it comes with, I'm running out of space to put this stuff you guys um, it comes with this magnetic 
um, uh, what do you call it? Graph paper. It's, you know, something that they have put together. And I wanted to say there's two. No, just one. Okay, so there's magnetic graph paper. And plain magnetic sheets. And uh, sorry, alarm going off. Seven o'clock. And then there's these plain ones. There's this magnetic one. Now this magnetic graph paper. This is to give you ideas, okay, on how to use this. So the magnetic graph paper, you, this is your floor plan, okay? So you would, and I have it marked with the back, the front, you know, all that stuff. Uh, these right here, which are actually thinner, there's several of these, you use to make... There it is. Okay, so you use to make pieces of furniture like this. Okay, so this I cut out and it was my stove with clearance. So wherever I put this in the thing, um, this is how much space my walking wheel is going to take up. Um, I literally sat and designed every piece. These are walls, I believe, for the shower or the area. Um, my table, <laughs> my bed, it even has a little pillow. Um, and there's sheets of different stuff. Um, here's the sink. Here is the stove without clearance. Here is, I don't know, my wine rack. Okay. Uh, another one of my wheels. Um, there's the hutch with measurements on there. And my kiwi wheel. So these are the pieces that I want to have in there. And, and there's more down in here, okay? So I've got my uh, shelves, you know, that are gonna go in there. Um, let's see here. The fridge, um, benches for the tables, uh, laundry, uh, washer dryer combo. Kitchen sink, my loom, hutch, all this stuff. And I mean, there's, I measured out everything. And I have it. Oh, I remember what this is. This is the corners of the actual, like, to put it 20 by 20. So you put, so, and it sticks to this. So, oops. Well, they're supposed to stick to, and they used to stick to. I think I may have to clean it because it's dusty. The magnets themselves are dusty. There. They're just not sticking to anything. I don't know what their problem is. But anyway, so they're supposed to stick, and they're sticking to each other. So, yeah, there we go. They're sticking now. The little corner ones aren't wanting to stick, so... Anyway, I have this little kit, and it was done. These are um, samples that she put in there for me, and so, and these are how intricate it can get. Um, seating arrangements. Okay, so I want to do seating arrangements. Um. And these are what you actually can make the pieces out of. So the beds, it came with different size beds. Um, 
I am actually doing a full bed. You can put a grand piano. I'm going to plan a whole thing. So these are the pieces. And you glue them onto the thing. Here's couches and sectionals. And she just printed this stuff off the internet. Okay. And once she printed them. Um, and she did, you know, tons of these for me. Chairs, different style chairs, different sizes of chairs, table and chairs, kitchen chairs. Uh, and so she put this little kit together as a gift for me. And this, of course, is the sample page. And it still says sample in her handwriting. Uh, so, yeah. And there's little rulers and you name it, it's in here. Um, pens, pencils, glue to put the little uh, things together with, you know. And I have not used this. Um, I had all the things that I was going to measure out. And yeah, when I first got this, I played with this a lot. Well, I'm going to go back to playing with this. And I am going to not only go back to playing with this, I am going to, and see here's the measuring tape one that you put on a thing and it does it, you know, 20 by 20 feet, whatever, and then you put your little wall things. So I will probably be doing that, but hey, and see the magnetic stuff is sticky and you just stick it to the paper and cut out your pieces. So anyway, I don't know if I will pick up the journal again. Who knows? I might. Um, I'm definitely going to do my design book and my plan book. This plan book that she got is super cute. It's just a notebook, but she called it a plan book. Um, and in here, this is the areas to map out what's going to be, what I have to build, whether it's going to have propane, whether it's going to be electric, water, you know, what everything is in here. And she put it in this cute little thing here. So that has also come back out. All right. So I will be combining it with this one and putting all my lists in there. So I will probably have something else to do with that notebook. Uh, all right. Final thing is the wedding stuff. And that is, um, you know, we're doing derby themed. I found my little hat and... I made my little hat and I like my little hat. Um, it has my little ribbons. It's got some little flowers. Yeah. Right at $5. So the hat was on sale for $3.40 something, $3.50 something. I got $2, $2.99 things at the dollar store of flowers. And the ribbon I had left over from another project. So. Then I did make some cupcakes today to practice. I haven't done cake decorating since RJ was little. And RJ really never wanted cake. Tori. Yeah. I had to make fancy with her. But when I went to get it, I can't find my coupler. So. I went ahead and got. I guess they call them twist quick decorating coupler so I found my screw on piece for it but I never found the rest of this it's not in my stuff and then for the cupcakes I got um, a bigger tip I tried decorating the cupcakes I made this weekend with and it comes with a bag too or actually I think two bags so yeah. Um, I tried decorating them with the cup, with the tips that I have. And first and foremost, I was going to have to use wax paper because the Ziploc bag bust out the tip and then the coupler did. So, well, now that I have these, because I just opened this up and found out I have these, um, I won't have to worry about the Ziploc bags. But I got a big star tip and with the coupler, everything will be good okay it is i can do the rosettes i'm not going to do roses i'm going to do rosettes which basically is a 
large tip um, and then that large tip uh, you start in the center just shh, and it yeah it makes a they call them rosettes but it makes a flowery design so yeah but anyway probably won't use it again but I just gave a couple dollars for it I'm good with that I got um, the gold flower uh, cake boards and we're I'm literally going to arrange the cupcakes in a horseshoe shape when I get there so and I got gold foils for the cupcakes so that it will you know look great you know gold on gold and then I don't know I'm gonna I'm probably just gonna do like pink flowers <laughs> You'll be able to tell that I put this together. Um, I'll try and get it as red as I can for the roses or the rosettes, but I make no guarantees. Okay, no guarantees at all. So other than these cupcakes will be edible. I don't know what they'll look like, but they'll be edible. So all of that's going on, and uh, yeah, I, I think. I think I've got everything under control. I've got the gifts wrapped. I got my hat made. Um, the I've got the grocery shopping done. I just have to make the chicken salad. Uh, get some bread. I'm going to purchase the pinwheels that Macy likes. I'm going to look for a fruit tray. And that's it. So. Yeah. So it is what it is. Mint julep cupcakes and uh chicken salad sandwiches macy's pinwheels because she doesn't like chicken salad um yeah i think other than that i've got it under control so or god's got it under control because i've got nothing under control as i sit here going got my blanket got my new jigs got my hat got my crochet got my Ugh. so now next weekend i will not be working out at the farm so there will be no tiny house update um, basically how I left it is how it's going to be. Um, and then the following weekend, I'm going to go back. Now, yesterday was RJ's birthday. He had so much going on. Macy had wedding stuff going on. They just couldn't, she wanted to see him on his, on his birthday. So she came down, but then she had wedding stuff. She had to hurry back. And anyway, so the bridal shower weekend, we're going to do the bridal shower stuff. Then the following weekend him and i have a date for pizza yep so um i'm gonna bring it with me when i go out to the farm and we're gonna eat lunch together cold pizza probably but anyway <laughs> who knows it will be pizza him and i'll have a meal it's just scheduled a couple weeks out because of everything going on and honestly I don't even know that he'll be there that next weekend. I think he is in Vegas for the Indian National Finals. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think he'll be here then. Because we've had to push everything back. So, he owes me a dinner. That's all I'm going to say. So, alright. You guys have a great week. Thanks for watching. And God bless.